Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the second grade concept of word problems, specifically how we can generate word problems or create some when we've been given a number sentence and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see on the screen we have 372 minus question mark or minus box equals 179. So we need to write a word problem that fits this number sentence. And if we wanted to, we can look at the same number sentence in a part, part, whole, or strip diagram. So 372 is our whole. One part is 179. We're not sure what the other part is. That's our missing number. So this is a basic subtraction problem. So let's start with the whole. So since you're writing the problem, you can put your name in there. I'll put my name in here. Aaron had, and let's just say I had 372 of something. 372 skittles it's an awful lot of skittles and that's how many i had and then you see the minus and then the box that can mean many things but i'm going to think that it means i lost some so i'm going to say he lost some skittles now you notice i didn't put a number i just said some this some that's my box that's my unknown so I've got 179 left. So we'll say he now has 179 left. And then what's my question? What am I solving for? Well, I'm looking for how many did he lose? So there's my question. I had 372. I lost some. Don't know what. I now have 179. How many did he lose? Well, let's solve it. Let's just do the standard algorithm on this one. 372. Now, minus blank. I'm not going to be able to do a minus blank. But I know my fact families. And I know if I have 372 minus an unknown number equals 179. There is another subtraction sentence in that fact family. And I can say 372 minus 179 equals my blank. You can switch these two terms out if you want to. So I'm just going to subtract 179 because I know how to do that. So we're going to need to regroup. 12 minus 9 is 3. Can't do 6 minus 7, so regroup again. So that's 9, 193. So that's my answer. Let's look at another example. Now we have an addition problem. We have three add-ins. We've got 32 plus 42 plus 169. So how can we write this as a word problem? Well, something like this, typically it's good uh, to add certain items together, maybe you and two friends. So I might say uh, Aaron, Josh, and David all had, and let's see what they had. Uh, they need to have uh, some, we'll just say cards. I'm not sure which cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, basketball cards. So we'll might, we might just start listing them now. Aaron had 32. You see what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give each person a number. Josh had, my next number is 42. And we'll say, and David had, and that's the biggest number, 169. Now what do I need to do to get all of these together? I'm going to have to ask a question. How many cards, and you probably know where this is going, did they have our big term at the end that's going to let us know this is addition problem is in all, or you could say all together. Either of those would work. Now, Let's go ahead and solve it. Let's see how many cards we did have together. So we've got 32, we've got 42. When we line this up, make sure that 100 is sticking out on the side and the 69 is below the 32 and 42. Always line it up with the ones place and the tens place. So I've got two, four, that's 13. So that's 10, that's 14. So all together we had 243 cards. So that's how you can use number sentences, either addition or subtraction, to generate your own word problem.